All right, welcome back, my lovely people, lovely, lovely YouTube types. Ooh. So my son just uh, got a free two marshal. Now you know uh, that's that's because of uh, if you go into he here. Oh, I've already unlocked groomed to rule in diplomacy. Oh, I didn't realize I would start with tree. Yeah, so that's that's actually kind of nice. Uh, groomed to rule. Uh, children get an extra one to three skill points just for free. That's very helpful. Um, like that just gives you much better heirs potentially. Of course, I started with an adult. Well, no, I didn't start with an adult heir, did I? I well, I did, but I'm cons I have another one I'm considering. That's right. Okay. But for now, you're my heir. So a knight has arrived. How's your proud? Twelve? That's that's the minimum. I, so the event I did, you get uh, three people show up who have at least twelve prowess. Right now, my knights are bad enough that I'm definitely going to want to spend ten to recruit him as a knight. Uh, now at some point, I am going to need to get... Sweden involved in a, in a war alongside me because I am not when when I'm almost when it's when I'm almost ready to uh, oh right it's my my counselor sucks at this um, my chancellor isn't any good but I don't really have good I don't have good chancellor options do I that sucks. Okay, well, I'm, I don't want to really spend money on vassalizing him slightly sooner. Uh, but what I actually could do, like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and get myself... Uh, it's expensive, but I'm going to get myself some Huskarls. They're, they're quite good. Uh, so you can actually look at all these men-at-arms units. They're Basically, they're an upgraded version of the regular armored footmen. Uh, main difference being they're significantly tougher, or um, slightly tougher, do significantly more damage, and they have a bit of screen. Now, what screen do? That's uh, basically if I have to retreat, they stop it from hurting as much. And if you look, like, light footmen screen a bit, uh, but, like, horsemen are pretty good at both screen and pursuit. Uh, but getting lots of screen is difficult. Uh, ooh, I start with mangonels unlocked. I'm going to probably want to get those when I have money. Uh, but for now, that's okay. That's good, good, good. Let's speed things up a bit. And let's keep an eye on how... Okay, so right now he's losing his, his war. Um, but it's only beginning, so let's, let's see how that goes. Uh, I would really like to be able to, to not have that alliance be a thing. Ooh, now Harold took a victory somewhere. How's uh, how's old Willy the Conqueror doing? Oh, he's he's kicking ass. Yeah. So right now, uh, Godwinson is losing both wars. Can I be able to murder you at all? No. I mean, I could just declare war on him, on this guy, but uh, see if you, if I have to siege him down, that'll decrease the amount of control in the area, which will uh, make it worth significantly less. So, the unite, also kind of a shitty one, but I can afford on the march. At the end of the fielded exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Ruskild. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half my army in place, I start to see flaws in the plan. Count Ragnar suggests I ride out with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. This will be an exciting shirt. I may gain, may gain a martial lifestyle perk. Ooh, that's good. 
or good idea, you're in charge. Let's see what that does. Supply, okay, they know how to get by on their own with or without. Basically, my supply duration goes up. Um, ah, no, this is way better if I get it. Let's see. I don't think I did. That's too bad. Uh, but supply is nice, but I don't think it's going to be... Oh, there's more to it. I can hear some of them from the roadside tavern. As one of my knights kicks open the door, my wayward soldiers fall silent. My arrival makes them stare down into their tankers with nary a word between them. The proprietor narrows her eyes. So you're responsible for this rabble. Bitch, I'm the king. How are, are you giving me lip? Let's see, I've got enough coin to pay for the damages. Right idea, pour me a drink. Ah, uh, jeez, okay. Um, I can afford the prestige. I just hope that doesn't cause a problem. Like that I don't uh, get drunkard or something. Okay. When my outriders brought news of the little encampment, I did not expect to find the soldiers still practicing their battle formations. Seems my knight, Simon, uh, took it upon himself to continue the field exercise while waiting for word from the main army. His troops line up neatly as I ride up to meet him. Good I, My gut inclination is to say good job. See, those were not the uh, orders I gave. I can gain 10 dread, uh, which makes people less willing to oppose me openly. Uh, but he gets insulted. He's just a knight, though, right? He's not a vassal. Okay, that might be... What is this shoddy stance? That is no way to hold a sword. That would give me demoralized... Ooh, no, 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 that's bad. Uh... Okay, no, I'm sorry. I just gotta piss him off and get the dread. Sorry, Simon, but, like... I know I just recruited you, and you... And now I'm insulting you, but... Okay. Approaching a lake, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I enter it, I am met by the sergeant in charge. My lord! Our water stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we currently have. The soldier looks at me nervously. If the lord and his knights helped me carry water skins, however... You know, I guess theoretically I should go with a Danish accent, right? Whatever. That's what the sergeant sounds like. If this is the only way, so I spend prestige. Uh, I guess I can afford that. Uh, ooh, I could get, I could cause desertion with this off. Nope. I guess I gotta spend the prestige. Uh. Now the nice thing is that actually that does not like delay my progress towards level of fame. Like I don't lose fame for that. Ooh. I does it. I didn't realize I could rotate it that way. Anyway, uh, passing through a small village, I realized that, though clad in simple cloth, the guards were seeing that the guards we were seeing everywhere were carrying weapons with my mark on them. Welcoming me to the muddy street was uh, Sigtrick, the self-proclaimed divine guardian of the town. Uh, the soldiers had laid down their armor to help him serve God. Interesting. I already rule by divine right. I gain 150 prestige. My theocracy vassal likes me 10 less. But he likes me 30 already, so that's worth considering. Uh, I could... You have a... No, I would gain... So I can tell him to fuck off, but I'll spend... Uh, I'll have to spend piety, which I already gain very slowly. I gain 10 stress, because I'm zealous. The stress system is an interesting one, by the way, so... Basically, when you make choices that go against what your character, quote-unquote, would do, uh, you gain stress. And if you gain a certain amount of stress, you have a mental break. Uh, not great, but, like, sometimes, it's, a lot of times it's worth taking the stress. And there's ways to manage it, like hunts and stuff. Uh, and let's see, I can say they'll grow tired of it and be delayed. Or I can just say, because I am zealous, I can say fighting for me is already acting in the name of God uh, with no... So the main thing is, do I want to slightly piss off my Archbishop in order to gain back a bunch of prestige? Or do I, yeah, I think I want to do that, um, rather than just have nothing happen. He'll, he'll like me well enough. Um, 
but it doesn't actually seem to have gone into effect on him. Maybe it doesn't happen until the very end of the... The last of my troops have made it back to Roskilde, and order has been restored. Though this was hardly a display of military brilliance, I've gained new perspective on my army and the individual soldiers of which it is composed. It was a valuable exercise after all. Nice. I get a new, uh, new martial perk. So let's take a look at these. Like I said, what I want to do is go down here. Um, this isn't bad, actually, but I want, because I want to get better, I want my knights to just really help. Because uh, knights let you really punch above your weight. Let's see, how's your war going? And how are your, how's your troop camp looking? Okay. Um... I'll wait a little bit to create another man-at-arms. So I'm not going to get a great... Hmm. She's pretty. An albino. Yeah, let's just see. I mean, given that he's theoretically uh, my heir, let's take a look at my filters. Um... Show all. I'm okay with you just getting a betrothal. Yeah, not lowborn. Um, under marriage prestige, you can do like gain, no gain, or all. I wish you could do no loss. But. Um, that's fine. Oh, and one thing. Let's just, let's just look at uh, inheritable traits. See if anyone has good inheritable traits that I could give him. Um, yeah, that's a pretty... She's relatively low, but she's a genius. I might want to consider her. Has my my other potential heir found someone yet? Or have I found someone for him? I don't think so. Where is he? Eric, right? Yeah, I might want to get him betrothed to Violent. Her name is Violent. Okay. She's quick, not a bad choice. But what would the what would that do for his prestige? Yeah, he would lose a shit ton of prestige. Same with her, I imagine. Yeah, he's way she. They're they're way beneath him, and she is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get away with getting a good inheritable trait. What if I do filter by gain? Anything interesting here? Alliance-wise? Duchy of Holland's not bad. Gonna have to wait quite a while for that, but... That's another one where I could give to someone else. Like, uh, no. Yeah, like Eric. How about you marry the Dutch girl? Oh, they won't let you. I see. Well, how old are you, Will? How old will you be when she's of age? You'll be like 33 already. No. Okay, that's. That's a problem. The the only ones who. Okay. It's probably that it's relatively rare for you to come out exactly zero on the prestige. It's because I have too many freaking alliances already. But if he's going to be my king, I can't afford to have him start out. And what's his prestige looking like now? It's not that bad. So... So if I need to lose a little bit of prestige for for it, that's, that's okay. As long as it's not a lot of prestige loss. I mean that's that's a good bit, but that also means let's let's see. She's 
He's a genius, but wheezes. And she's a, a heretic. Still, that's worth considering, because I have an elective monarchy, so I just pick the one that hopefully ends up genius, but not wheezing. All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it sucks to spend most of his prestige, but I can I can deal. How's your opinion doing of me yet? Oh you Okay, almost need to improve his opinion a bit. Let's let's go ahead and start trying to sway him. I should have been doing that to begin with. Military strength. Um, I mean, I'll continue to get stronger just naturally. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab some bowmen because they counter sk uh, skirmishers and... Uh, skirmishers counter heavy infantry, so I'm like, these kind of little kind of, they'll counter the counter. Um, these are my knights still, do I have a, still have a bunch that are below 12? Yeah, I do. Oh, let's pause, keep it paused, let's recruit to court. Shit, what was, what was the war that I'm called to? I, I didn't mean to... I thought I was, the, I was just called to it. Oh, betrothed can marry. Yes. Great. Okay. Any chance I can get away with murdering your wife without you without you catching me? Does that address? I don't know why. I have to redo it. click it. That would be nice if it would update. Okay, so again, same deal still. Hasn't changed. Just figured I'd look. Um, my daughter has come of age. Now she's married to this Prince of Sweden. I oh, need to designate him a guardian. Bjorn. I don't know. Do I have... What's the thing? I don't have any, as far as I know, any vassals that I... Actually, yeah, give you... Another ward. Make you like me a bit more. You know, get into the positive. Alright, I was looking at her as a potential... marriage option for one of my sons because she's a genius. I'm still thinking about it. Would the prestige loss be not horrible? Okay. So definitely worth thinking about. It's just so hard to keep track of who I have actually uh Yeah, I think where is where is Eric? There he is. Wait. I thought he was... Okay, it just doesn't show his congenital shape because he has so many other traits. 
Uh, but I think the two of them, like, I get a really shitty alliance out of it. Uh, right now, he has no prestige. So he... <sighs> I'll think about it, because the two of them could create, like, a super soldier. <laughs> a strong genius. Any chance I could, uh, get you to come to my court or something? No, because you have a barony. That's right. Okay. Ooh, it's at minus zero now. He's almost ready to just accept a vassalization. Okay, how's this war going? You're still winning. That's that's unfortunate. Really? Oh! King of Sweden died. Is he still allied to Normandy? Or to Norway properly? No, he's not. Okay! Good deal! I mean, he's still helping in the war, which sucks. Because I don't want... I don't want Norway to win it, but... If it comes to it, I mean, that'll just be a complication for this playthrough, right? That I'll have to go up against someone who has both. And honestly, he'll likely, they'll likely split, so even still, I need to, I need to start. I do need to, what kind of wars are you in against any of my vassals by any chance? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, you expand for me, my, my son and heir. <laughs> Do I have... I still don't have any good freaking potential uh, chancellors here. Let's just look through my guests. Let's see. Okay, I have two guests. Johan could be worth recruiting just to be a general. He's not a great fighter, but he's... Mm, he's reckless. Uh, which... Okay, so means he could do worse, but he could do a lot better. He's a brilliant... I think... How expensive would it be to recruit him? Ten. Because uh, it's actually kind of nice to have at least one... So well, I mean, a bad, you, you don't want your commander to be a bad fighter, but... Uh, you can't have the same person be a knight in an army and commanding it, so it's kind of like, you know, you gotta, you gotta weigh it, uh, some of these characters, like how they can contribute with their prowess versus their command. Uh, but he's a decent commander. I think I'll recruit him, uh, just to have him in my roster. Oh, good. Okay. My, uh, good job. I'm just worried he'll end up in a war if I don't hurry. Anyway, I think I'll end this episode here, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you for watching.